Well hello people and welcome back to part 34 of Thessia Our Australia inspired build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please do excuse my voice throughout today's episode. I am at the arse end of a cold so it's kind of a little bit croaky and cracking but hopefully you can deal with listening to poorly egg. But either way today we're going to be starting a brand new town and indeed looking at how Cities 2's road tours have influenced how I now approach road building in Cities 1. And we're going to be taking inspiration from the town of Cairns in Queensland today. Uh, this town is going to be geared up to be one of the larger towns on the island, probably larger than Valkyrie, Sentinel and Benezia. Obviously not as large as the downtown, but certainly another fairly significant metropolitan area. So it's going to be really fun. Please enjoy the time lapse of me setting up the road frames here as we begin to create an entrance into this new town, which we'll also name today as well. Otherwise, thank you for continuing to watch City Skylines 1 content. Enjoy your time lapse, and I'll catch you in the live play. So we'll start today's live play guys just by bringing um, this little six lane arterial here that we set up in the time lapse uh, to the head of the beach. And there's some really cool ideas I want to take from Cairns here today. You probably might have noticed some uh, during our initial kind of opening Google Earth shots. And there's some really, really interesting ideas in Cairns. In particular, there's like a train line that runs into a building. 
It's all quite greedy as well, so it's going to lend itself really nicely to city skyline zoning. Uh, there's harbours here, there's hospitals on the waterfront, there's lots of cycling infrastructure. So we're going to bring our big main road through town right up to here, and we're going to have a lot of cycling in today's town as well. Uh, and of course we will name this as well after uh, another, I guess, Asari character. <laughs> we'll, we'll name that a little later on in the episode. Uh, but what I want to do here, towards this side of Cairns in real life, if we're kind of looking at it from the satellite view here, is there's a marina up this way and I think this would be a really great opportunity to bring in some ferry lines. So to have a look at ferries, we've currently got this line which is the Valkyrie to Sentinel ferry. So it definitely feels like a sensible point here to bring in some ferries. And we'll also prepare some breakwaters as well for when we eventually do start introducing um, some detail and boats around here. But until that point, let's go ahead and chuck this in. And again, we want to make sure this is at a sensible height here. So let's bring this one down and then we'll get these hooked in. So where's going to be the best point? We've also got another exit point here as well for ships, haven't we? Um, which we probably won't utilize here. I don't think we're going to have a cargo harbor in this way. So I guess as it comes out into the big expanse here, let's bring it up this way and it can just shoot in here. And then we'll have this one come out as well and it can just mirror itself back. Let's not come back too close towards the shoreline. And then we'll grab that ferry line and I guess it's going to make sense for it to stop off both directions. We'll have that one come there and then this one also needs to come off and come up this way. Now it could be worth at some point setting up an express line that doesn't stop at the new town but it's probably not going to be necessary because we're not getting a huge amount of use out of the ferries either way. And um, so while we have brought this down to a different level, I'd love to also terraform this out up to the beach as well. Maybe we can have the marina slightly slightly lower than it is uh, the rest of the town, which will give us some nice layers of height as well when we kind of look uh, from this area over here as well. There's also some really interesting buildings on Candy's waterfront as well, so it's going to be quite interesting to see what sort of unit buildings we can repurpose here. So let's get that breakwater set up for the marina. Um, I think best option to do that is just going to be using pedestrian pathway I think yeah I think we'll send it up with this one you guys are also gonna have to excuse my voice today I am currently suffering with a cold but hopefully it's not too bad <laughs> to bear with uh, so let's come on to our road length as well and um, we'll do 20 units here so let's come on to our road length angle and we'll do a little curve out trying to sort of replicate what we see um, in cans and then we'll come out a little bit don't want this to get too big and then push out to like that direction then that's sort of what I'm after here and I want to make sure that all this is at the same height as well so let's grab all the nodes and we'll set it back to the same height as the node that comes over this way and once it does stabilize it should be okay I think but that does give us again just that little kind of draft of structure you know I guess is the way to sort of talk about it and so I bring it out this way as well snap to 90 degrees as it comes back in we'll leave a space let's hit the guideline again we'll come in here we'll have that as the entrance into kind of said marina and then we'll bring that in line with the ferry and we can replace it with roads whenever we like and again we'll grab all of it we'll say same height as that first initial node that we placed and then once it all stabilizes down again that just kind of expands that peninsula to remind me when we come in and do some further detail around here that we do indeed have sort of a marina plan for this particular area. Cool. Like I mentioned earlier, Cairns is um, really blocky and has a ton of roundabouts. So definitely something I want to respect in here. So if we're going to be having kind of back-to-back -back zoning, then I probably want to be keeping back-to-back -back tileage, if not maybe leaving one or two tiles. So because I'm going to probably have some larger assets up towards the front, I'm going to leave, let's say two tiles in between the grids and obviously with like zone in and move it and whatnot we can we can change that up so let's stick to 20 blocks here i think i'm happy with that let's get a few of these in and then as we move away from the beach this is when i'm happy to have that back-to-back -back zoning reappear now so we'll do a couple of these coming down we've also got a ton and I mean a ton of um, the parking roads in Cairns as well that we've used before. Uh, so we'll definitely have a few of these knocking around as well. And I think we may do these maybe... Let's have a look. Do we want to have... Yeah, I think we'll do it every other block. So we'll have these parking roads happen from this point. And again, we'll keep them running in blocks of 
20. And then we'll also bring that cycle infrastructure back in as well. That can run all the way down. We'll keep this running parallel with the main road as well. Probably to about there. And then we'll grab this as well. And let's keep this going in blocks of 20. As so in kind, the cycle infrastructure leaves the road and just enters its own pathway as it runs along the beach. So that's definitely something I want to bring in. So let's do a little five curve here as we begin to spread out this way. So there's going to be a lot of low density suburbia right here. This is finally going to satisfy a lot of uh, Thessia's residential demand because there's just so bloody much of it. And again, this will become parking road. I'm going to bring this down as well. I think for some instances we will leave larger spaces open and available for things like hospitals and stuff. And I'm not averse to placing some services down today. And um, maybe if we wanted the high capacity hospital. It's pretty much going to sit in here, isn't it? We had something like that. Yeah, don't mind that. So I think we might shut down some services as well. But I want to make sure we maintain the continuity here as we come across. So let's make sure that this one also comes out for 20. Thanks back up with that one again. And that comes all the way down. So I want to take a look now at the train lines. So we would have seen in Google Earth in today's edit, because Editing Egg will add this in for us, uh, that we have um, quite a large, what I'm assuming is going to be like a mall. And I reckon King Leno's mall um, for this. If we go to our unique buildings and we'll filter for uh, shopping venues. Uh, the Mall of Marbles, it's actually looks like a really similar asset to this. So I want to see what we can do to sort of play with this. So I want to use Network Multi Tool and we will use the unlock function. Just get rid of these and possibly that as well, maybe. If I delete these and then just bring this up to like a regular road, will that actually replace the connection? It will. Yeah, so I think we'll actually remove the roads entirely off of the Mall of Marbles here. Let's have it sat like that. Let's see if we can use the junction in these parking roads to do something cool. Already kind of really changes the asset that doesn't it? Just removing the road off of it like that. So I think I'm happy with that. Uh, so we'll have this here. Now the train line does something really cool. So in Google Earth anyway, it looks like it goes inside the mall and the train obviously stops and collects passengers and that's something I want to try and do with cities. So I think a content creator station is going to be the most appropriate here. Probably one of bad peanuts. Now this one does have to be placed roadside. So let's see if we can uh, do this. So let's go for just a little stretch of road here. And then we will grab our uh, bad peanut station. We'll place it there. We'll remove the parking for right now. What's interesting is it doesn't actually lose its connection because it is technically still connected with the road in front. So the most sensible fusing we could probably find for it would be here, but we've got these props along the back now. They do look like they're bobbable. So let's have a little explore here. It looks like it's fencing and umbrellas. Yeah, it's this fence in here. So if we get rid of that, and then we also want rid of the umbrellas as well, and the commercial umbrellas. So Robert will remove those props for us, which makes the back of the asset a lot mergeable. So I'm not worried about losing the back of the mall. We can almost pretend like it is an entrance for the mall itself, having the train station here. Um, yes, yeah, you know, if we could fuse it like that, because there were a possible arrangement here where we could have it. So the back end of the mall is fused into the train station. So it's like this is an entrance. Probably have to get rid of these benches with Bob again. But as a possibility and as a kind of proof of concept, I don't hate it. Especially when we can get these escalators kind of blended in as well. That's pretty cool, right? Not perfect, but it's certainly an idea we could possibly chase. We're going to think I'm going to do a touch of bob work on the station. That's the main asset I want here. I want to remove those plant pots. And I want to probably remove the park benches as well. So with those props gone, that does make the asset a lot more fusible, doesn't it? We could also do a little bit of sinking here as well. How much does this affect our terrain? Not too badly, actually. Yeah, that's sort of what I want. So we now have the back of the mall entrance that comes out onto the platform. That's kind of Ken's inspired. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think we'll go with it. It's not kind of an unnatural fusing anyway, either, is it? Um, so there's a fair few um, rail crossings in Cairns as well. So I'm happy to have a few of them in. Um, let's bring this through. I imagine also we'll have some cargo train infrastructure over here at some point too. 
So let's hit that guideline on the curve. We'll bring it straight down into here. And again, when we do get into uh, this town's industrial build, which we need to name it pretty soon, don't we? Because we can't just keep calling it this town. <laughs> it has to have a name. Uh, we'll bring this down over here and we'll probably do some port infrastructure on the... That's what direction we're facing here. Kind of east side, I think, isn't it? So the east of the town will probably be quite industrialised. So we'll make sure that the rail comes in to allow for sort of cargo infrastructure. And then let's make everyone the same height as this node over here. Fabulous. And we've also got the uh, town up here, or the rail, that comes down from Samara, of course. Um, which would be nice to factor in if we can get the train stopping here. Um, there's probably an opportunity here to bring it in. Because you definitely want to catch the, ta the train from this town up to Samara. Now the train police aren't going to be happy with that one, and neither am I, which is okay. So we'll grab a bunch of nodes, and we'll just give ourselves a bit more breathing room, and we'll re-terraform all this so it doesn't look like crap come the end. And then we'll also just move everyone over here, just over a touch. Again, we'll re-correct the naughtiness come the detail and time-lapse. And if we can just have a line that's going to come off here, and come down into that way we'll do a little bit of network multi slope in here too okay it works it's a little bit rudimentary but that sounds like a job for detail and to tidy up so let's at least get that train arriving now and so we'll come here so technically now you can actually get from the new town all the way into the downtown via the train that goes to samara cool well, actually, it's taking a different route there isn't it i don't want you to do that why are you doing that is there a a broken connection somewhere in the line. There we go, we just need to add it back. It looks like that's a faster route for it to take down that way, which we don't want it to do. So yeah, we want it to come through Samara, come down the mountain road again, which is really similar to that town we took inspiration from. I'll leave it up on Google Earth, I can't remember exactly what it was called. But it's kind of come down like the mountain uh, train line here, like a big sort of scenic rail line. And then it's going to arrive into the new town, which should be quite a lot of fun. We hope, anyway, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see just how that turns out and i wouldn't be against having this train line run sort of parallel with the little stream that we've got here the little creek and maybe have a station a little bit further down the town because with this town's going to be again probably the biggest of the other ones i think so far probably not as big as a footprint as valkyrie but the town itself is going to be certainly bigger i think and definitely bigger than sentinel and benezia because they're relatively small for their sizes so, having another train station further down the town isn't totally out of the question, I don't think. So, we'll see what happens in the future as this town begins to develop, because there's a lot of inspiration to take from Cairns for builds. So, we'll just leave it there, and we'll also cross this back over. You know what, that's not horrendous, is it? I think that's going to be a really cool way to use a train station. And um, Let's definitely give this station here a connection back into the town. So, you're going to connect perfectly in there, looks like you are. And again, there's a ton of rail crossings around Cairns, so I'm not really bothered about having a couple more of them. And I don't want this big parking road to continue forever, so I think at this point here is be where it'll end, because again, we've got more industrial infrastructure to bring in over here, so I don't really want those sorts of roads over that way. So let's complete the frames over this side. Keep a lot of this cycling lane going around as well. I imagine we'll refine the cycling infrastructure at some point, but if we have every road with cycling on it, it's at least going to help, isn't it? And that looks like a nice happy place for some car parking, does it? I think it does. Let's go ahead and get some large decorative in. Maybe we can get a multi-story around here somewhere as well. Is there a possible fusing for the multi-story? So it looks like we could have sort of access to the mall from the multi-story itself. Might be quite cool. How about if we had it over here by the front? Maybe have it like that. I don't think that's going to be horrific, is it? Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? I don't think. There's going to be a ton of IMT to do today. <laughs> We've got a lot of it to do, but it's always a lot of fun, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that at all. And I think what we will do is just push the... Parking up to the edge of the building and then use surface painter to fill the gaps. We'll have another one there. Make sure this is all 
merged in. So that's definitely one of the sort of real big buildings you can see in Cairns kind of respected. So we'll hopefully come to enjoy that, I think. I don't think it even mind a touch more ploppable parking at this side as well. To having played Cities 2 so much recently and really missing Surface Pair. <laughs> like, just being able to fill a concrete space makes such a difference to a vibe, doesn't it? Cool. Well, I don't, I don't hate that at all. Um, I'd love to see the train arrive and speak of the devil. Here it is, the old, the old steam train that comes down into Cairns. There's even people waiting here too, just to get back on it again, I guess. Hey, we also need to decide as well. We'll speak of the devils. So I was just going to say, do we want intercity trains to be arriving here? I wonder if actually, because they're so close to this mall entrance, if they'd use it. Not sure if they would. We'll have to wait and see. Oh my god, yes they do. They're entering the mall from this side of the train station. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> they kind of walk back onto the tracks, but they do go through the mall from here. That's so cool. I didn't think they would. <laughs> but yes, please. That is a extremely happy accident. I'm enormously happy with that. Absolutely wonderful. So we'll have a look how the starting interchange is performing as well. So again, we took real inspiration from um, Cairns for this one, but um, something that would be much more configurable in Cities 2, I imagine, but it's at least working right now, isn't it? I'm really happy with that. It's not going to be the only entrance into the town either. We'll do, do some further down, because this will eventually bottleneck the larger this town becomes, especially when industrial traffic starts coming through it. So we're going to name this town um, Ascension, which is after the Destiny Ascension, which is the largest ship in the Asari fleet from Mass Effect. Of course, still maintaining our Asari vibes in Destiny, of course. Now, I think Ascension is a pretty good name for a town as well, isn't it? Uh, I really like it. And so I want to bring these two roads together over here. Um, let's come... We do 90 degrees out of this way and then... Bring this one down as well. Now I reckon we can do a bit of node controller magic here. Um, if we shift our blue friend so it's back sort of straight, we'll do a little bit of Grandmaster offset here as well. Uh, no crossings, let's push green out a bit. Yeah, I definitely want to push green back a touch. Possibly orange as well. That make the node a little more cohesive. I don't think I'd be against that. We could also bring it out this way as well, which I think we will do. And we'll just push our blue friend out and remove those crossings again. Probably red as well, I imagine. But isn't node controller great? <laughs> what a wonderful mod that is. So we'll have that all fused into one node together. So I mentioned earlier that there's uh, an awful lot of roundabouts in Cairns. So of course we could do the standard roundabout that we do in cities and have done for years. Um, or we could use roundabout builder as well. That would also work. But I'd like to try doing a little sort of blending of one-way roads, essentially, to kind of form a roundabout in a slightly different way. So I think we'll just use two-lane one-way roads for this. And so, for example, what I do want to do with this, where would, do we want one? Um, probably here, I imagine. So this road is going to continue onto Main Street. And let's say, for example, here, let's delete this. I want this road to come up to here, and then... Um, I don't want any angle snap on here, just road length and guideline. I want to snap by three units. To do this. And that is essentially going to give me a mini roundabout anyway, isn't it? And then hook this back into the frames around it. A little bit of node controller to hide the crossings and probably just square the nodes off where we need them. So I wouldn't do these everywhere and probably, well, definitely wouldn't do them against kind of major arterial roads because there's a lot of nodes very close together here. But I think just for a slightly different shape, especially when we do that, and then we can pick up one of our favorite trees and let's go for an old faithful blue gum or something. I think that's just going to be quite a cute way, you know, of introducing some slightly different roundabout spices. Um, again, how far do we want these parking roads to come out here? I think we'll stop them there. So let's go back to our four lane roads here. We'll come back to something with a median on it. Yeah, four lane with decorative grass is fine. Uh, so this can come at an angle that can just go down there. I imagine this will be, well, it will be 
a major connection again just looking at how the arterials flow in cans there's lots of very kind of sharp angles not not many bends so i'll try to respect that again where i can and then we can just have these sort of occasionally scattered around the suburb like so but i want to make sure we're actually maintaining a proper unit there so let's go for 30 units and then we'll maintain that one and then reintroduce those grids again and we'll again keep it into blocks of 20 i imagine cool and then do stuff like that so that should be a slightly different way i think of getting a roundabout in it should still function okay again you can see just how tight it is when we've got all these um nodes here together but it should be okay and you know it's kind of gonna give us a different filler isn't it compared to the usual sort of roundabout fillers so, I think as a general road concept, I'm going to be happy with that. But um, otherwise, guys, it's going to feel like a good point for a detail in time lapse. Um, my voice is collapsing by the minute, <laughs> so I'd like to stop talking as soon as possible. So let's get into a nice long detail in time lapse now. We're going to carry on all these ideas and just fill this space with road frame ready so we can start building the Town of Ascension next episode. Uh, tons of IMT to do all over here, lots of tree lining and just general natural beautification of a new road frame that we're all so fond of in Cities Skylines 1. And of course, it's really nice to be influenced by Cities 2 as well, you know, piecing stuff together like this. Uh, which is flowing I mean, not too bad, is it, already? Considering there is assets here now. But of course, it can all go tits up. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, let's do some detailing. And then we'll be right back.
you go, let's, let's have a little detailing review, shall we? So our interchange has been bushed up now with Thestia's dry bush. We've also got some tasteful trees in around here. And I've pretty much copied the insertion markings that are on this interchange uh, in Cairns. So hopefully it's somewhat accurate. And uh, it's flowing really nicely as well, which is always good to see, right? Some nice flow here. Of course, we'll see how it performs as it gets busier. But then we're coming to the town. Uh, the whole main street here has been intersection marking tool just with kind of basic patterns again with lines to guide people on and off the main street. And then also added in some commercial just so we can see some people moving around and some cars parked. They're already, it's looking like a really cute town, right? I'm really looking forward to uh, getting stuck in here and doing some more detail and further build as we begin to expand the town of Ascension. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, this station idea worked out just tremendously well. Really cool to see people actually entering the mall from the station. <laughs> well, that was such a, a cool addition into today's build, wasn't it? And a uh, bad peanut station, the perfect one too. Uh, get into this particular build as well. Really like the train stations pack if you haven't got it. Definitely one of the ones to pick up, I think. And decided that we will keep intercity trains here. And they're just going to go back out onto the main uh, Thessia rail line over here. Furthermore, we've also expanded the bike infrastructure with these roundabout designs, just helping them to peel around the islands. And again, once we've got all our low density suburbia in here, um, this should look really cool when it's all active and flowing around. So we're looking forward to getting stuck into this as well. It's going to be a really nice town, I think, Ascension. I know every time we build one of these new towns, I'm like, oh, this is my favourite town. <laughs> well, guess what, everyone? Ascension is now probably my only favourite town as well, especially when we get in here and start doing different builds. Uh, more IMT up at the head of the main road uh, as we arrive onto some uh, additional pedestrian streets that's going to merge onto an eventual beachfront for Ascension, uh, which will look really cool as well. And then also just mapped out some initial industrial spices for when we do do um, another generic industry build. I know we've done a brewery in Valkyrie before, and so maybe we'll have to find another sort of cool themed industrial build to do. Not entirely sure what we can do over here. Let me know if you have any ideas. And then just some basic tree lining against the creek that flows through the town. And we do have a big empty space here against the arterial and the national road. And I reckon this is probably going to become a sewage treatment plant at some point. Because the city does need a big kind of sewage treatment process in Santa. And this space here just kind of looks like it's perfect for it, doesn't it? Just off of the dual carriageway. Just see a nice little... Well, it's not nice, is it? It's pretty awful. <laughs> but cool things to build anyway. Uh, plenty of node control around the arterial here. And then really just mapping out... Uh, these roundabouts and i really liked doing this with the roundabouts just a slightly different way of doing them you know and um, i guess we'll just see how much traffic they can handle once we do get some buildings out here and all our roads now have been tree lined changed it to the uh, common vase trees and all their parking on them and it just looks really sweet already we're looking forward to getting stuck into ascension i think but otherwise guys it's not do it for today not too much to show off really in the review but uh, I always enjoy setting up a road frame. I've mentioned before how important these things are for just getting a sense of scale and design, especially when we're looking so closely at a real-world source of inspiration like Australia and Cairns in this particular case. Massive shout-out to all the patrons supporting the channel with a special roll call to Felix Wilkinson. Really appreciate all the support you guys drop to help us make Cities 1 possible on the channel. Thank you so much for all the continued support on this year. Please do enjoy today's cinematics, but otherwise I'll shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.